you and I are part of the first generation to have the ability to see the universe throughout the entire spectrum. We are learning about the laws of nature, and it is the understanding of those laws that drives our technology and our economy. The picture that James Webb took and released today shows you the molecular cloud, the cloud of gas and dust, some of which is condensing under the force of gravity to form new generations of stars. And in this process of star formation, we see jets and outflows from those forming stars, which are destroying their own birth environment. We can see the ecology of star formation and planet formation uh, taking place in environments like the Carina Nebula. There are some like 100 billion galaxies out there. Here you're seeing a few hundred of them. The gravitational lensing effect that distorts these background galaxy images allows us to not only measure the amount of dark matter, but actually to map it. Even though we do not yet know what dark matter is made of, an image like this allows us to actually see it indirectly by its effect on the way light is bent by the presence of that dark matter. The Southern Ring Nebula is an example of what happens when stars like the sun die. In this case, one member of a binary star system expanded, transferred matter onto a companion star, and in that process expelled a bubble of material. What really excites me about James Webb is not what we expect to see, but discovering things that we did not expect. You ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till James Webb takes images with exposure times of hundreds of hours. Then we will see things that we've never seen before.